What's up, fam? Matt from Coasters and Brews here. On Tuesday, we had the incredible opportunity to participate in the commercial for Great Adventure's newest roller coaster, Minute Maid Orange Juice the Coaster. What do you think his name is? Maybe like, like Minute Maid the Coaster? Like Minute Ar Maid the Coaster, juice, dude. Something. Orange uh, Juice, yeah, dude, that makes so much... <laughs> That makes so much sense. Minute Maid and orange juice. Dude, Minute Maid makes orange juice. Yeah, they make great orange juice. Dude, it's yeah. probably Minute Maid orange juice, the coaster. The coaster, Dude, yeah. that makes so much sense. JK, the Jersey Devil Coaster. I got the chance to ride this monster 10 times with several rides in the front and back, and I'm here to tell you all about it. This ride, for those who are unaware, was designed and manufactured by Rocky Mountain Construction, but you may know them better as RMC. It sits in the back of the park by Nitro, where a good amount of the old kid area was. The setting for this coaster is very nice, as it sits practically on the lake, and is also very fitting for the name and lure of the coaster, as it is surrounded by the trees of the Pine Barrens. Should make for some solid night rides, fam. The queue for the ride isn't anything out of the ordinary for Six Flags. They do have a very nice sign with the name of the ride at the entrance gates. As you continue down the queue, you are greeted with signs that tell you the myths and legends of the infamous beast himself before you head up to the station. When you get to the station, you are assigned a seat and proceed to the roller coaster, which continues to move. You pull down your restraint and you're off. You proceed up the lift, which is pretty quick. And then you come to the first drop, which fan, if you are in the back, Prepare to feel like you are about to be thrown deep into the Pine Barrens. You then go up into an intense dive loop, which was certainly less intense in the front, but intense nonetheless. Then you hit a Camelback, which should be described as nothing but the ejector hill. Because no matter where you're sitting, you're getting ejected. Following the Camelback is the Zero G stall, which provides some modest hang time and a pop of air time as you're pulling out to the Raven turn if you're in the back. Then you hit it. You hit this raven turn and are immediately pushed into your seat with some intense positive G's before being thrown out of your seat as you descend down a hill. This airtime is sustained no matter where you're sitting. You then hit a zero G roll, which really did nothing for me, no matter where I was sitting, and then into the brake run. Let me tell you guys, this brake run is freaking nuts. You're like going fast, and then you like slow down and stuff. Man, it's wild. One of the better brake runs out there, honestly. It's like, nah, it's just your standard brake run. You then proceed out of the brakes, into a hill, then into a turn, which provides some light positives. After this, you hit back-to-back -back stangle dives, into a speed hill, which all provides some pops of air, no matter where you're sitting, before climbing back up into the brake run for one last pop of air time. Overall, I thought this ride very much held up to the hype. The first drop, the camelback, and the raven turn are all absolutely insane. And the raven turn is definitely up there with one of the more intense elements I've ever experienced on a roller coaster. I will say there was a slight rattle that was very noticeable in the back. But I only did ride in one of two trains and was told the other train was smooth as glass. I was also hoping for a little more after the brake run. I don't watch POVs for the surprise of the ride, so I was unaware it was just a couple hills into the brakes. I was hoping for maybe one more inversion there, but beggars can't be choosers. And that does not by any means mean that part of the ride is bad, it just could be better. But yes, overall I thought this ride provides an incredible experience and is a great new addition to our home park. Before anyone asks, I have not been on any of the other single rail Raptor coasters, but do look forward to comparing when we finally do. Alright fam, hope you all enjoyed the review and thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to drop a like and let me know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time fam, peace.